There's a story behind every football player, a desire underneath every helmet, and heart below every jersey. A determined man must follow his ultimate dream, even if it's a step below impossible. I was a freshman at Bishop Canavan High School, and uh, it was the first day, first week of conditioning. Coach Jacoby, he, uh, he seen me, he said, freshman, a little bit too big for a freshman. Jeff came to us as a uh, ninth grader, uh, and I hadn't really known Jeff before he came to Bishop Canavan, but I had heard about him from several people, and uh, what a really good athlete he was, and how he worked hard at, uh, at, the, at sports. I thought uh, when I saw his size and that, I got excited. He was ranked fifth in the state, Pennsylvania linebacker. I was 42 in the nation overall. Whatever we asked Jeff to do offensively, defensively, uh, Jeff would respond uh, very positively towards it. He brought an enthusiasm uh, to uh, practice in the games. I'd run over the bags doing the running back drill. And then when I got to the, to the last bag, there was a guy five yards with a hole in a bag, and uh, he would it one way and I have to cut the other way. So he waited till the last minute and I cut one way and as soon as I cut that direction, he put the bag in front of me so I try to cut on a dime and go the opposite way and I was off balance and my knee popped. Losing Jeff, you know, we just didn't lose a, uh, a player on uh, offense or defense, we lost a player on both. And we lost a, uh, what we felt was a division one prospect. I felt like I was done playing football, but then I felt that, you know, there's still, there's still a chance because I didn't know really how bad my knee was until I got to go see the doctors. Uh, when he wasn't playing, he'd be on the sidelines. It'd be very encouraging to players, uh, but you could see frustration for him because he knew that he should be out there, he should be with the, uh, the rest of the, uh, the team, and that I think that kind of uh, affected him losing I couldn't do anything to help us win and uh, you know so I sometimes even would just cry on the field just knowing like my senior season's just down the drain. Division one offers you know, one a part of me that was, was too risky to try to give me a, a you know give me that scholarship because they didn't know if I was going to get hurt again or if I was ever going to play the same again. Fortunately for Jeff, Slippery Rock University, a division two school, offered Dobbins a football scholarship and a spot on the team. Uh, coming back off the injury and my first, and going into camp, I was real nervous about my knee, and I looked at football in a totally different perspective, and I was just uh, scared of hurting again. I was more hesitant. So they pitched the ball to me, and I ran to the right. I cut back left, and then I caught up and went straight up the field. And there was a defender right in front of me, and I planted my right foot and it cut the other way, and then my right knee gave a pop. When he injured himself again, the phone rang at seven o'clock in the morning, and I said, this can't be good. And when I answered the phone, he said, Mom, I blew out my knee. I just cried. I basically just wanted, wanted to quit. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to get hurt again. But it kept telling me in the back of my mind that uh, you know, anything could happen, could happen. I just wanted to give him one more try. That's what I'm doing right now. I knew now that he was going to be more frightened to get back on the field or think that it's over, that he's never going to get to play football again. I feel like, you know, I made the right decision to keep playing because if I were just to quit right now, I'd probably be miserable for the rest of my life. And I know deep down inside I don't want to quit. I think what you, what you need to know about Jeff is that he's overcome so many obstacles. He is determined to get where he wants to be. He's gone over a lot of hurdles to get where he's at and very proud of him. Don't quit on your dream. Don't give it up. But just know that everything doesn't work out the way you want it. God possibly might have other plans for you.